Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're watching from. And most of you are watching from the United States. And I think we all can just pause and be thankful that we live in the United States of America. It has its problems. There's issues. We talked about a lot of those issues for months on end leading up to the election. And uh, this is going to air uh, several weeks after I'm filming. I don't know how it will be. I'm guessing that we'll still be talking about politics for months up until January. Uh, but at least it has calmed down a little bit. But here's the thing. Even though we live in one of the greatest nations on the planet and one of the greatest times to do so, there's issues. And because of that, I love the fact that if we are followers of Christ, we have hope that this doesn't have to be the solution for everything. See, Philippians 3, starting in verse 20, it says this, but our citizenship is in heaven. Not Arizona, not the United States of America, not California, thankfully. Maybe you're watching from California. I'm sorry if you are. Um, but our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, it says this, we await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. And our citizenship is not here. And, and, and I, no matter where you are at in this season and when this video will air, I hope that you stand firm as he reminds us with the fact that our citizenship is in heaven and we're just visiting here. And maybe to help you illustrate that, I wanna think about where you've traveled to, maybe a place you love traveling to. For me, I love Mexico. And every time I go to Mexico, it is rejuvenating and enjoyable. But here's the thing, I long for home. I long for roads that have less uh, potholes. I long for water that I can brush my teeth with. I long for less dust uh, in my truck when I'm getting in and out. I, I yearn for a comfortable bed and reliable air conditioning. I yearn for the things of home. Even though I enjoy that place, I know that it has nothing in comparison to my home here in Arizona. And I hope that, that we as followers of Christ can have that same mindset that that we, as, as great as things can be here on earth, it, it pales in comparison to our true home in heaven. And I believe that if we live with that longing, we live with that thought that, that we're just visiting here, and the hope that we have is not for this to be made perfect, and not for God to make America perfect as a nation again, but instead for Jesus to come back and make all things right everywhere here on earth so that we can dwell with him, so that we can be his people and he can be our God and we can worship him in heaven. And that's the thing that we need to hold fast to our hope. Because no matter where your citizenship is, if it's the United States, if it's another country, truly, if we believe in Jesus and call him our savior, we have the incredible hope that our citizenship is in heaven. And that gives us hope no matter what politics or economy or immigration or national security, no matter what that stuff looks like, if we're encouraged or discouraged, scared, enthusiastic, none of it matters because our citizenship is in heaven, a place of perfection, a place of glory. And from it, we await our Savior Jesus that gives us the ultimate source of good news. So I pray today that you would walk around standing firm in that and using your Bible like a passport clinging to it as sojourners in this land that is just a temporary home for us. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.